Three of Saber Swordsman class is one of the five main classes that player can choose from in this game. As the name suggests, the Swordsman class specialize in wielding one-handed weapon and two-handed weapons, ranging from sword, spear, and rapiers with some of the off-hand equipment like shields and daggers. With several different subclass to choose from, player can actually customize their swordsman character to suit their preferred playstyles. Now, this is also one of the reasons why this video took a little bit longer than any other tier list videos because I had to review the class, the weapon setups, and their complicated mechanics. Keep in mind that these rankings are subjective and may be very depending on individual playstyles, setups, and team composition. Now, before we dive in, I will be using a ranking tier list table of C, B, A, and S tiers. The C tier is considered to be the weaker class, while the S tier is considered to be the strongest among the swordsman class in the game. With that being said, let's dive into the list and discover the best swordsman class in Tree of Saber. Starting with the first one, we have Highlanders, A tier. Highlander is a versatile class that specializes in burst attack that can be played offensively and defensively. Even though this class can use all types of weapons, Highlander must use two-handed sword or a dual setup of one-handed weapons and a dagger's 45 4 effects. Highlander by Bora Level 1 provides an improvement to the cost cut and skyliner skills, as well as increase the block effect for the cost guard skill and apply a buff that activates for 3 seconds while casting cost guard. This buff allows player to resist all the removable status alignments and cast a reversal slash when successfully blocking an attack during the buff. Reversal Slash is activated by an enemy attack within 200 distance of the front and then charge at the attacker, dividing Koska's skill factor of the current level by 200% into 4 tap. At level 4, Highlander Vibora provides a significant boost to Mullet Net's final damage, increasing it by 100%. On to the second class, we have Pels Testa, B tier. Pels Testa is a chain class that utilizes both one hand weapon and a shield, which can include a sword, a spear, or a rapier. This class offers a decent amount of damage as well as a few crowd control skills for both PvE and PvP content. Pels Testa by Vora Level 1 add a new debuff to Shield Love skill, which is called the Shadow Wounds, that lasts for 4 seconds when attacked successfully. This debuff also applies a secondary debuff, which increases the target movement speed by 20%. When the target is under Shadow Rated Wound, it's hit again by the Shield Love. The duration of the debuff increased by 4 seconds. Serrated wound give player 25% of the damage inflicted by shield lob every 1 second. At low 4, Pelta Star by Bora reduced the damage, increased rate of Guardian skill by 80%, and increased the duration by 100%. However, this does not stack with the scale clip shield effects. On to number 3, we have Hoplite, S tier. Hoplite is a DPS class that specializes in single target damage. It can use a two-handed spear, one-handed spear with a shield, or one-handed spear with a secondary weapon. This class has a very strong single target damage thanks to a buff called Shock Spear, which applies additional final damage whenever your character lands a critical attack with the Hoplite skills. Hoplite by Bora Level 1 add one extra level to all of the Hoplite skills, as well as two extra level to the Spear Throw skill. Whenever your characters use a spear throw, they obtain a buff called Javelin, which lasts up to 25 seconds and can stack up to 3 times. Each stack of Javelin allows players to throw a Javelin at a single target within 250 distance by consuming 1 stack of Javelin when performing a basic attack. The skill factor of Javelin is equivalent to the current level of spear throw, and it hit up to 6 times. At level 4, Top Light by Bora provides a significant boost to the Pierce's final damage, increasing it by 100%. Number 4, we have Barbarians, A tier. Barbarian is a bursty DPS swordsman class that can use all types of weapons and offer a very strong support debuff and buff that synergize with all the swordsman class. Some of the good examples would be Warcry and Frenzy. This is also one of the reasons why you will see a lot of Barbarian class in the Wicked Buster ranking for the swordsman categories. Barbarian by Bora level 1 add 1 extra level to all the Barbarian skills. Additionally, it improved the Warcry with a new effect called Pounding Rage which increase the range of Warcry to 200 and attack the target within the range by the main weapon type when casting Warcry. The skill factor of Pounding Rage is actually the skill level of Warcry multiplied by 906% and it hit up to 3 times. At level 4, Barbarian by Bora provide a damage increase of 0.5% per Frenzy stack. On to number 5, we have Cataphracts, A tier. Cataphract is a mounting spearman class that specializes in crowd controls and AoE damage effects. This is one of the swordsman class that will have a ton of movement speed with nearly 100% uptime, 
thanks to a skill called Drop and an extra movement speed when mounting a companion. Mining players will capitalize on Cataphract for endgame fuel farming. This class can only use Spear Weapon, which can be one-handed weapon, two-handed weapon, or the combination of one-handed weapon and the secondary shields or the weapons. Keep in mind that players will require a companion in order to perform or activate Cataphract skills. Cataphract by Bar level 1 increased all the Cataphract skills by 1 levels and doubled the range of the Rush skills. It also added a new effect called Matchless, which casts an additional 2 attack within 3 seconds after the Rush channeling. The additional attack hit up to 5 times, it has a skill factor equivalent to the current level of Rush, and has an effect of 20 area attack ratio. Keep in mind that the additional attack is not considered channeling or casting. At level 4, Cataphract by Vora provides a significant boost to do spike final damage by 100%. Next up, we have a class called Double Shoners, A tier. I'm gonna call this class Double by the way because this is way too long. Double is a DPS class that can utilize all types of weapons except for a skill called Shellhawk, which requires a two-handed sword to activate. This class also has a combination skill that requires players to activate a certain skill in order in order to activate it, which can be a little bit inconvenient for players who doesn't really like combo attacks. Double by Vore level 1 increased the punish skill level by 3 and introduced a new effect called Wedge Slash. This effect changed the punish to the slash property skill with a 20 second cooldown and a casting time of 1 second. It also removed the knockback and movement to the target enemy function from punish replace it with a 4 consecutive hit and deal damage to multiple enemies nearby. It had a maximum of 10 target. At level 4, double Vivora and hence show whole final damage by 100%. Number 7 is actually pretty interesting by the way. This one is going to be Rodella Rose, A tier. Rodella Rose is a tank class that offers a lot of single and AoE damage effects with low cooldown abilities. While this class may be considered to be A tier, it has the potential to reach S tier. The reason to this is that this class can be both DPS and tank at the same time. Rodella Row also has an attribute called Shield Attack, which convert a portion of the equipped shield defense status into the attack status for their skills. Additionally, Rodella Row can also use any one-hand weapons, whether it be one-handed sword, spear, or even rapiers. Rodella Row by Bora level 1 at 1 extra level to all of its skills and boost Mateno skill level by 2. Additionally, it introduced a new effect called Escudo Expadas. This effect adds an extra hit to Mateno's skill, which stray up to 20 target in front of the user when casting the skills. Enemy hit by this effects are inflicted with unbalanced debuff for 3 seconds, except for the boss monster. The skill factor of this extra hit is equivalent to the current level of Mateno's. At level 4, the Vivora increased the final damage of Shooting Star by 100%. Coming right up, we have Mamelos, A tier. Mamelo is a tank class that utilizes one-handed weapon and a shield, very similar to Rodella Rose. It can be both DPS and tank at the same time with a variety of crowd control effects. While this class has a good chunk of AoE skill for farming, it's actually focused more on PvP content rather than PvE. Mamelo by Vora increased one level to all Mamelo skill except for Kazakrista and Spring. It reduced the penalty of Kazakrista and create an arena around your character after casting Frenzy Burst. The arena increased the final damage of the Mamelo skills and inflicts a debuff onto the enemy outside the arena. Additionally, level 4 by Vora summoned two followers to cast Butterfly onto the enemies when hit by the headbutt. On to number 9, we have Fencer B tier. Fencer is the most unit class that utilizes the Rapier weapon, but its damage output is not as strong as any other swordsman class. While they pair really well with Matador, but the skill factor are way too low to make it viable in some situation. Now, if you're someone who's really interested in Rapier class types, then this class might be worth considering. Level 1 by Bora increased the level of offensive skill by 1 and reduced the cooldown of Stella Toy by 5 seconds and Fleet Jail by 10 seconds. Level 4 by Bora activate 11 10 doors when casting Balastras Fentair, hitting the target winning the passing rank 10 times with a pure poppy attack. The 11 10 door skill factor is actually 10% of the current level of the Balastras Fentair, and it can hit up to a maximum of 10 targets. On to number 10, we have Dragoon's A tier. Dragoon is a hybrid Dragonite class that specializes in spear and weapon. This is probably the most unique experiment class in the game right now due to the transformation skill that Dragon Noise. Player can use both one-handed and two-handed weapon setup for Dragoon, and this class has a lot of single and area target DPS skills. 
The Dragoon Vibor level 1 increase the skill level of all Dragoon skill by 1 and add the bonus effect to Hopper, increasing the final damage against large and boss monster by 50%. When the Thorn successfully hit a boss monster, it applied a debuff for 5 seconds that reduced the damage received from the target by 15%. At level 4, it allowed player to throw a hopper around the designated range 4 times when Dragonfall is cast, dealing damage and hitting up to 10 targets. The skill factor of hopper is 40% of the current level of Dragonfall. Next up, we have Templars, A tier. Templar is a hybrid DPS and support class that can use any type of weapons. This class has multiple different playstyles, going from being a food or a support to a class that synergizes with other DPS swordsman class to dish out more damage. The Templar Vibor level 1 enhances the effects of the flag skills, including stunning enemies, recovering stamina, and providing immunity to the party member within range. Additionally, the flag of revenge can actually pull up to 10 targets toward the flags. The level 4 by Vora increased all the Templar skill final damage by 30%. Coming right up, we have Lancer, and this class is going to be A tier. Lancer is a mounted DPS swordsman class that specializes in using two hand spear weapons. While it is very similar to Cataphract, Lancer is more focused on PvP content with the Initia buff, which is extremely useful against players with high block status. In addition to a few crowd control skill, Lancer has a lot of mobility skill to keep up with enemies. Lancer Vivora increases the level of Quinton skills and allow it to be used when using Crush. At level 4, it reduces the cooldown of Chills by 10 seconds and summon Mounted Troop to deal damage to nearby enemy when casting Chills. The skill factor of the Mounted Troop attacks is equal to Giga Gantia Matcha and the maximum number of target is 10. In the PvP areas, the skill factor is reduced to 50% of Giga Gantia Matcha. Next up, we have Matador's B tier. Matador damage output is not as good as Fencer, but it has a very similar playstyle as Palcesta. You could say that Matador is like a sub tank without a shield. Although its damage may not be the strongest, it has several defensive skills such as Backslide for invasion, Muleta for counter attack, and Capote to reduce enemy resistance. The Matador by Vora level 1 increases the level of all Matador skill by 1 and reduces the cooldown of Ole and Capote by 10 seconds. It also introduced a new buff system called Bandrerilla that stack up to 3 times for 5 seconds whenever Ole or Capote is cast. When a boss monster or enemy catcher uses an attack skill within 150 range during the buff, it applies an impalement debuff which deal a pierced poverty damage every second with a skill factor of 20% of passive dubes in the current level and decrease the movement speed and damage received. The duration of the debuff is 10 seconds and the maximum number of the stack is 3. At level 4, the Vivor increased the final damage of Matador Fiennes skills by 100%. Next up, we have Nokmoy, S tier. Nokmoy is an auto attack class with combination skills. It is currently one of the strongest class in the game that can burst down bosses and monsters in a matter of a second. This class can use all title weapons, allowing player to pair this class with other support, buffer, or a bursty DPS sourcing class. Nokmoy level 1 by Bora at 1 extra level to all the Nokmoy skills. Additionally, your character gain 1 Bora stack that lasts up to 30 seconds whenever your character uses a Nokmoy attack skills. When your character reach a minimum of 12 stacks, they can cast a special skills after using Ramoy, which deal 10 consecutive hits of straight damage to enemies with an area attack ratio of 10. The skill also provides 70% damage reduction during the casting and make the user immune to the knockback and knockdown effects. At level 4, the Vibora increased the final damage of Che Ka, Seo Qian, and Che Chong skill by 30%. Next up, we have Red Tierra's B tier. Red Tier class stand out to be the most unique swordsman class in the game due to its control effect and playstyles. In addition, player can actually utilize its blocking effect by equipping a combination of one-handed spear and a dagger to reduce incoming damage. Even though players can actually use the shield setup to block incoming damage, but some of the skill require players to use their secondary weapon like daggers. Red Tier is by Bora level 1 add 1 extra level to all the Red Tier skills, but also increase the skill level of Toro Red Tier by 2. It also adds a debuff to enemy when using the first overheat of Trident Finish. At level 4, it reduces the cooldowns of Bandir's Candanas by 25 seconds. Next up, we have Hackapel's A tier. Hackapel is a mounted swordsman class that excels in using one handed weapons along with either a shield or a dagger setups. Keep in mind that players must mount their companions in order to use Hackapel skills. One of the interesting aspects of this class is actually the ability to counter all the mounted swordsman class in PvP content. 
through a skill called Cavalry Charge. This skill has 50% chance to forcibly dismounting enemy character from their companions. Hackapel by Vore level 1 increases the damage of Sharp Hugging and Grind Cutter skills. At level 4, your character will rush forward and perform a Sharp Hugging twice quickly after casting Infinity Slash. However, your character will not rush forward if the target is less than 100 distance away. Coming up next, we have Blossom Bladers. Blossom Blader is going to be an A tier class. The Blossom Blader is actually a burst DPS swordsman class that heavily focused on single target damage. Blossom Blader can use both two handed sword and one handed sword with a shield or the secondary weapon setups for all the skills. Now, Blossom Blader doesn't really have a lot of skills to setups, so it's actually very easy to learn Blossom Blader mechanics. The Blossom Blader by Vore level 1 increases skill level of Blossom Slash by 2 and reduces its cooldown by 15 seconds. It also adds a new effect which allow Blossom Slash to consecutively damage up to 4 enemies around players. At level 4, the by Vore effect increases the final damage of control play by 100%. The next class is going to be one of my favorites and that is going to be Luchador. Luchador is going to be an S tier. The Elotrador class is actually a versus style tank DPS class that can wield any type of weapon. It boasts a wide range of crowd control abilities and is what in regard to be one of the strongest PvP swordsman class in the game. With an impressive damage output, there are no downsides to playing as a Elotrador. However, players need to clear the achievement quest in order to unlock Elotrador. Luchador level 1 by Bora increases the level of Lucha de Silla by 3 and Gopier by 1. When hitting enemy with Lucha de Silla, a Luchador Master will appear and perform a special attack dealing damage with a chart and two arm swing and an LA jump attacks. Level 4 Vibora increased the final damage of Gulp here by 100%. Pretty simple. And lastly, we have Senji S tier. Senji is a DPS class that specializes in using spear equipment, both one handed and two handed weapons. It shares similarity with the older version of the Kushader class that can switch stands between a DPS and a support. But unlike Kushader, Senji has two powerful stands one stand that focused on dealing single target damage, while the other one focused on dealing AoE damage. Senji is also considered to be the strongest class with a high cooldown reduction and a minimum critical chance buff. Senshi Vibor level 1 provides a bonus effect that enhances the damage deals by peers or slash skills by 10%, depending on the stand that is being selected by the stand ship. It also increases the skill level of Senshi by 1 and provides a bonus to strength, critical rate, and attack against boss. Senshi Vibor level 4 increases the final damage of all Senshi attack skills by 20%. This is pretty much every single Sorsum class that we have right now in GSC. If you enjoyed this title content, then consider dropping a like and subscribe to the channel. This is Sato once again, and I will see you all in the next videos. Later!